Titan Station, this is the lucky lady. We're here on the far side of Titan, preparing approach, following course vector G. Confirmed, course vector G. Titan Station, Space Freighter Nightshade departing on my way to Mars. I've just cleared all approaching traffic. So I'm going to fire up my main engines and be on my merry way. Roger that. Titan Station, this is the lucky lady. We're seeing something here in the Atmo. I think it's a meteor. Lucky lady, space tracking report shows no inbound meteors at this time. We're going out of radio range. Can you verify the sighting? Wait, that's not a meteor. It's a sh Hi, Bruce. Rub lotion on me. Ooh, rub lotion on me. Rub me first. Don't worry, ladies. There's plenty of me to go around. Wake up, Bruce. There's been a micrometeor impact. The ship is losing air pressure. Wake up. Wake up. For the love of God, just five more minutes. Wake up. One minute to critical pressure. Critical air pressure level in 10 seconds. Leak fixed. Air pressure restored. Bruce, you need to repair that pressure door so I can stop these leaks. Nothing like a big old cheeseburger. Mm. Hey, thanks, buddy.
Hey, did you fix that vapor converter yet? Right on. well-written magazine. <laughs> You're right, who am I kidding? Ah. Oh, you're looking happy today. Looking good. Well, thank you, so am I. Cocoa beans? I love cocoa beans. Did you get your chores done? Of course. Great. Did you chess? Oh, are you? We'll see about that. I've been reading up on chess moves. Practice all the time. Practicing? Sure. With who? Beans. You're a big fat liar, Mr. Sour Cream. Hello, aliens. This is Bruce from Earth. I'm still hauling my hog fat, all 20,000 tons of it. It's been six months since I left Earth. I miss puppies. And grass. The long range receiver's still broken. It's been that way since my last run with Jimmy. I've been feeling a little weird lately. I think it's because I haven't talked to anyone in so long. I don't know. It can get pretty lonely out here. Oh, everything's back together. Close the valves, repressurize, close the hatch, all done. Saved once again by duct tape and ingenuity. I hope this thing works. Engines back online. Ignition. Damn it! Oh. I'm screwed. Stupid rental. Computer, are we going to be passing anything? The shuttle will pass close to Neptune in three years, then leave the solar system. I'm so dead. Unless... Computer, is there a distress call on this ship? Yes, it is also called a hitchhiker transponder. Really? Where is it? It is a button on the left side of the oh. panel. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Bruce, we're receiving a hitchhiker signal. Ooh! A hitchhiker! All right! Nessie, respond and plot an intercept course. Intercept course engaged. Yeah, RJ, I'll, I'll put on some clean clothes. Yeah, yeah, I'll clean up the ship too. Hitchhiker! Hitchhiker! I'm gonna have someone to talk to! Hitchhiker! Hitchhiker! I'm gonna make you a surprise.
I baked you a pie. I made it just for you. Well, I'm Bruce, and this fine ship is the Nessus. The computer goes by Nessie. And she was made from the finest scrap metal on Mars. Hi, I'm Max. Hey. I'm headed to Titan Station to deliver a load of hog fat, and you're the first person I've seen in six months. Thanks a lot for rescuing me. I thought I was done for when my shuttle broke down. There's not many ships on this route. There's a whole bunch of nothing out here. Let me give you the tour. So why are you way out here in that dinky little shuttle? Work. <laughs> work, I know how work can be. Stupid, unnecessary psych evaluations. I had this awesome job as an automation engineer on Mars. It was great. And then I got this new boss, a real jerk. He decides, you've got to go work at the Titan station. So the company rents me a shuttle. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up from hypersleep because a micrometeor has punctured my engine and thrown me off course. That is an incredibly dangerous way to travel. Those shuttles get lost all the time when people try to take them into deep space. They're not built for it like good old Nessie here. Damn it! Those bastards! I'm quitting as soon as I get to the Titan station. Those bean-counting sons of bitches. I've been looking for a reason to switch jobs. Besides the typical, I'm bored with my work and I don't like my boss. And this is definitely a good reason. Do you have a long-range receiver? I couldn't connect to the network in the shuttle. The long-range receiver's broken. It's been broken for six months. The home office probably thinks I'm dead. Or they are. Hey, is that pizza? Oh no, you do not want any of that. That's been sitting there for six months. Ew. Did you know that Domino's delivers to Earth orbit? Really? By the way! If you see a container of sour cream sitting around, do not mess with it. That is Mr. Sour Cream, and he and I are in the middle of a chess game. Okay. Hey, let me show you something. This is RJ7, my droid. Yes, RJ7, Max is the first company we've had on this trip. No, RJ7, he's a real live human being. RJ7 is state-of-the-art, and he hates not being able to update his software due to the long-range receiver being broken. Do you speak droid? No. You know, the binary language of moisture evaporators. What? What? You said something. No, I didn't. I gotta go use the can. It's a trash can. So, we gonna eat this pie or what? Yeah, let's do it. <sighs> Good night, Max. Good night, Bruce. Good night, Nessie. Good night, Bruce. Good night, RJ7. Good night, Mr. Sour Cream. How you doing? Fine. Do you need anything? I'm here to help. No, I'm okay. Okay. I baked some baklava. It's in the kitchen. I'll have some later. Okay, I'll see you later. Hey Max, how's it going? I got this game. Would you like to play it? Oh, I'm sorry. It has been so long since I've had anyone else on board that I sometimes forget how to behave. That's okay. I just need a certain amount of personal space. Gotcha. So, do you want to play? Sure. Cool. Aha. <laughs> Ah. 
Good night, Max. Good night, Bruce. Good night, Nessie. Good night, Bruce. Good night, RJ7. Beep, beep, beep. Good night, Mr. Sour Cream. Good night. Uncharted distress call from vessel 259. 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 Strange, isn't it? What are you doing? I'm working on this panel. Why are we receiving a signal? I thought your long range receiver was broken. It is. How can we be receiving anything then? It's not completely broken. It still picks up things close by. Uncharted distress call from vessel 259. Let's scan the area. Uncharted distress Nothing call there. From That's strange. Where's it coming from then? I don't know. It could be a signal directed straight at us. Oh well. Back to bed. Good move, Mr. Sour Cream. You, sir, are a formidable opponent. Yes. Uh. Accidents happen all the time. Out the airlock, one push, you can have it all. So what do these buttons do? Press them. No. It moved. I know it moved.
How do you move, Mr. Sour Cream? Beans. You're all over the place. You wanna do it. You wanna do it. You know you wanna do it. Waiting. No one will know. Waiting. 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 I don't get it. How are you so happy way out here without immersion, anyone to talk to or anything to do? It's driving me crazy. Immersion's not living. It's fake. People think they need all kinds of constant distractions and entertainment with sex bots and all these electronic devices. It's not a good way to live. Although, maybe, maybe I should get a sex bot. Bruce, why did you cut the rings on that six-pack holder? Well, you know, you're supposed to cut them up to protect the animals. You know, like dolphins and shit. Dolphins? What? Never mind. Oh. You know, you look a little messed up. I feel messed up. And <laughs> here I thought you were one of those natural types that didn't like to bathe. To each his own, I say. But you look like you're about to crack. There's nothing to do here. I can't check my messages. I can't get on the network. I can't even look for a new job. It's like my life's on hold. I have all these plans for when I get off the ship. And that day is so far away that it's making me nuts. I have an idea. Put me back in hypersleep. You don't want to do that. There's no reason to put your life on hold like this. We're only a month out from Titan Station, and you're just torturing yourself with these thoughts. Plus, there's plenty to do on this ship. As long as you have your mind, you never have to be bored. Hey, I got the perfect distraction. You want to watch some movies? Yeah. Great. I got a whole bunch of good ones picked out. I've never watched a movie before. Wow, you've been missing out. You're gonna love this. All right, let's do it. Oh, you kind of reek. Why don't you go get cleaned up and I'll get things set up here. Okay. All right, did you want something to drink? I've got Diet Coke, Altarian Ale, or Martian bottled water. Bottled water's fine. I've picked out our first movie. Star Wars 4. No, 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 no. Star Wars 1. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. sand and remember the time we've spent. These movies are great. Why doesn't everybody watch these? Because of immersion. Once you could live out your fantasies in a virtual world, nobody wanted to watch movies anymore. <sighs> but I still love them. Well, I'm definitely going to watch more. But I still feel like this is just killing time until we get to the station. <sighs> Space travel is so boring. How can you stand all this waiting? 
Those thoughts are your first mistake. You're sitting around here waiting for some future activity. Most truckers are all about getting to the station, getting with their girlfriend, going drinking. I cannot live that way. I tried that on my first trip and I almost went out of my mind. I was just about ready to quit trucking for good and go back to working a 9 to 5 job. I was sitting in the Titan Cafe at the bar debating what to do when in runs this wild-eyed guy chasing the waitress. He sat down next to me at the bar. He said his name was Tam and he'd been a space trucker for 20 years. And not just the six month runs to Titan, but the really long hauls that take years to complete, like the run out to Logan Station. You know, Logan's run. <laughs> what? Never mind. At first, I thought he was a big nutball. And after talking with him, I realized he really was a big nutball. But I was amazed at how content and happy he was. I signed up on his next run as his crew, and he taught me the way of the Zen Space Trucker. The Zen Space Trucker? The Zen Space Trucker. He used to walk around naked, I hated that. And he was full of all this spiritual mumbo jumbo that I mostly ignored. But I did learn the most important part of his teachings. Which is? There isn't anything to wait for. The most important place is here, and the most important time is now. You remember those words, and you'll be happy. Or in our case, you won't go crazy. <laughs> oh. I hope you don't start walking around naked. No, no, no! I have a thong. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> You think you need to do certain things to be happy, and when you can't do them, you get bored. You spend all your time looking into the future, and you're not paying attention to what's right in front of you. What if you died tomorrow? Or right now? I could die right now. I wouldn't have any regrets. That's because I live every moment. Well, at this point, I'd do anything to make this trip go faster. Can you teach me this Zen space trucker philosophy? I ain't Kane the Wanderer, and this is not Kung Fu. Sorry, dude. I, I thought you wanted to teach me. I do. Who says that I don't? Great. When do we start? Training starts tomorrow. But for now, dinner. And pie. Be in the moment. Don't worry about the future. Put all your thoughts into what is happening right now. So you're always in the moment. Well, that's my goal. I mean, I do think of the past or future. I'm not perfect. And there are practical considerations that require future thought. And if I'm stressed, I go to my happy place. And that's totally against the Zen Trucker's code. Your happy place? Ah, oh, my happy place. It calms me, and I can live in the moment better if I'm relaxed. What is your happy place? It's private. Try and hit me. Okay. Now this is what it feels like when someone presses in on your elbow like this. This is how you break someone's arm. Ah. Ah. Ah.
Well, I'm just supply lines and deadlines and too many memories of Hey, hey! What are you up to? I'm going swimming. We have a pool? Water storage tank B. Yeah. Don't worry, it's filtered. Never got to rub lotion on me. Well, hello, hello, Katie. I'm sure I can find some lotion around here somewhere. Well, hurry up. This hallucination won't last long. Oh! This is a method designed to get you in touch with the moment. Pretty good idea, huh? Ah. Were you thinking of anything else while I was hitting you? No. Well, great, then it worked. Let's go have some pie. <laughs> I could finish fixing your shuttle now. A few days ago, I figured out where that part goes. Great. Wait a minute. A few days ago? Why didn't we fix it then? Your training is too important. You're gonna have to learn the ways of the Force if you're gonna face Vader. What? Seriously, I have a full schedule. Your engines are back online. I was able to get them 50% functional with some of Nessie's spare parts. But for now, if we need to escape, we have a working escape pod. You don't have an escape pod? No. <laughs> Test drive? Sure. My turn! Ah! <laughs> Woo! Get ready! Ah! Transmission recorded. The source is behind us and getting closer. Nessie, play that back. Distress call from vessel 259. Look out the ship. What is that noise in the background? Evacuating on course 3G9. Oh, shit. It's here. <laughs> Gonna die. Yes. Let's not play that again. Okay. Yay! New friends! New friends! New friends! New friends! What? New friends! It's behind us, about 5,000 miles and closing. We should be able to see it. There it is. Evil looking sucker, isn't it? Nessie, shut that damn thing off. 
Bruce, it appears to be some kind of distress call. That is why it plays through the ship. This message is a newer one than the other messages, but according to the timestamp, these were recorded over 10 years ago. Let's try and contact them. You actually want to contact the people that sent that scary message? We have to. If a ship receives a distress call, we're required to help by law. Vessel 259, this is the vessel Nessus, responding to your distress call. Do you read? Over. Vessel 259, are you in need of assistance? Over. What do you think it is? It could be a deep space freighter, running with no lights, not responding to radio, on a collision course. It could be pirates. What if it is pirates? What do we do? We die. We'll be vastly outnumbered and outgunned, considering I don't have any. They'll fillet us alive and use our bodies as hood ornaments on the front of their ship. Shit! Nah, just kidding. They'll steal the cargo, they'll steal the ship, and they'll maroon us in your shuttle. That still sounds bad. Especially way out here. Yeah, it does sound pretty bad. I don't think it's pirates. They tend to sneak up on you. Well, that's reassuring. Nothing much to do now but wait. I still think it's new friends. Get up here and look at this! On my way. What the hell is that? I don't know. It looks like a freighter, but it's much larger than usual. You know, sometimes ships go missing and no one knows why. Let's go check it out! Wait a minute. That sounds really dangerous. Why would we want to go over there and risk our lives? Salvage rights, dude! What about that scary message? Don't worry about it. Come on! It'll be fun! This could be a class 5 freighter. They quit making them about 20 years ago. There's the port. Hey, the computer says it's 70 degrees and that the air is breathable on the other side of this hatch. We won't need those. Easier for us. Let's go. All right. Oh, the gravity's going to shift at the top of the ladder, so be cautious. Okay. Where were you? I had to pee. In the corner? Come on, let's go! Ew. Yeah, I figured we'd see some of these. I wouldn't do that. Ah. 
She's frozen. She was melting. I don't think it's been warm in here very long. Holy crap! It's huge! This must be the main cargo hall. What is this stuff? I have no idea. Yeah, it looks like a worthless piece of rock. Well, it can't be worthless. I'm gonna grab some more! Where the hell are we now? I don't know. We should be getting close to the bridge. Don't worry, RJ7. I'm tracking their progress. Bruce, come here and take a look at this. Found it! Ooh, more dead people. There must have been a fire. The smoke must have got in the air vents and killed them. Check this out! This is so cool! Anyway, there's gotta be tons of cool salvage around here. Maybe I'll get myself a new mattress! Come on! I'm going to try to extract the memory from this computer. Maybe the ship's log can tell us what happened. Sounds good to me. You know, these bodies are giving me the creeps. I'm going to go look for some cool stuff to salvage. Back in a bit. See ya! Bruce, don't go too far. Yeah. Going to get me some stuff to salvage. Is anybody over there? Ship's robot, a P-13. It's a shame I kill it. Those things are expensive. I'm still taking it, though. Why did it attack me? I don't know. Did it say anything? It sounded like it said, get out. Well, it could be protecting the ship or warning us. But there's nothing around here. There's just a bunch of dead people in that blinking light. Blinking light? Oh, shit! Time to go! Wait. What? What are you doing? I gotta get my stuff. This thing's awesome. I ran out three months ago. Oh, uh, uh, God, we're all good. Let's go. Go, go, go. I don't know. She's only mostly dead. I get lonely! Lonely? Instead of talking about my love life, can we please get the heck out of here? Oh, right, right, right! Let's 
go. Let's go. Ah. We're stuck. Happy boys. 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 Oh, hi, Katie. Hi, Bruce. Increase the power to the inertial dampers. What? Increase the power to the inertial dampers. Bruce, are you listening to me? Bruce, increase the power to the inertial dampers. Bruce, what are you doing? Snap out of it. Oh, right. <laughs> We're free. Oh, thank God. Nessie, get us out of here, full speed. Full thrust engaged. Bruce! Nessie, how do I make the ship go faster? If you make the ship lighter, then we can make the minimum safe distance. Cargo can be dumped, water or fuel or the shuttle. Ah! You're in my chair. Oh! Where were you? I was taking care of my new woman. I gotta keep her in the fridge or she'll thaw out. We have less than three minutes until this thing blows up. When it does, we don't want to be within a hundred miles of it. We've got to lighten the ship. So I heard. Let's dump the shuttle. No, my stuff's in there. And it's a rental. Hey, let's dump the hog fat instead. No! Nobody touches my hog fat. I'm dumping it. I'm dumping the hog fat. Valve opening. God damn it. Valve you just dumped closing. 10 grand worth of hog fat. Sorry, I'm trying to save our lives. Faster! We made it. No more ghost ships. When we were in the shuttle, why didn't you answer me? Well, I went to my happy place. Your happy place almost got us killed. For somebody who's talking about living in the moment, you sure don't practice what you preach. I had a moment, okay? God. Damn. We're still losing hog fat. The valve's broken. Somebody's gonna have to go out and fix it. Oh no, I can't go out there. You go. If I go, who will pilot the ship? I don't suppose you know how to fly an SP-350 with a back-burning retro igniter? Doesn't this thing pretty much fly itself? What if something were to happen? A trucker never leaves his ship and never lets hitchhikers drive. Whatever, help me get suited up. doing 
doing fine. Just a bit further. I think I can see what's wrong. There's a bone stuck in there. Oh. It's stuck pretty good. Max, before I forget, don't pull the bone out until you've tied on. Ah! Oh! Too late. I met you too, but you're not gonna die. Look beside you. <laughs> it really is a robot. Hi, RJ7. Intercept Max, and then reel us in real fast. Max. When you see me, I may not be conscious. What? Grab me and latch on. All right. Bruce, are you sure you want to do this? There's a very good chance you will die. If I don't do this, Max will die. Confirmed. Door will open in five. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Two. How's that for being in the moment? <sighs> On my last run, there was a bad heater in the hog fat tank. My co pilot Jimmy went out to fix it, and he was hit by a meteor. I couldn't get to him in time. Since then, I've been afraid to go outside. But I couldn't let it happen again. Saved your ass. Thanks for saving my life. 
Yeah, friends don't let friends die. It's against the space trucker code. This job is really tough. That's space travel for you. Long periods of boredom followed by moments of life-threatening terror. <sighs> but the cargo's safe. We're safe. And I got a new woman. Let's celebrate. I mean, the mostly me. Mmm. You want some? Remember, taste isn't everything. No. You can have them. See yourself. What was that cargo? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe my frozen woman will have some answers. Hey! Hey! I baked you some cookies! Yummy, thanks. Hmm. So, any luck deciphering that freighter's data log thing? Not really. I really wanted to find out why that ship chose to blow up the minute that we boarded it. I mean, it was out there for like 10 years. Nessie said the reactor was going critical, and it had been for at least two weeks. We went through a storm of micrometeorites two weeks ago. I'll bet it got hit. The cooling system got damaged, causing the reactor to go critical. It heated up the rest of the ship, thawing out the bodies. Then the power surges from that caused the transmitter to activate, sending the distress call. Mystery solved. Yeah. But you know, there's one more mystery, and she's sitting in my freezer. And I'd really like to, uh, <laughs> check her out. Check her out? I meant revive. Um, yeah, that, no, that's what I meant. I meant revive. Uh, not check her out. I meant, you know, not like, uh, boobs or anything. No, that's not what I meant. I meant yeah. check her out, like revive her, make sure she's okay. That's what I meant. Um, let's go. What's that? That? That's Dorothy. What's Dorothy? Dorothy's my custom-made resuscitation chamber. Oh. So we pop her into this thing, and it should fix her right up, assuming she's not too far gone. Temperature, negative 10 degrees Celsius. Blood saturated with nanoprotectors. Oh, that's good. She won't have as much damage. Mental degeneration level, 34%. Oh, that's not so good. She may be a little off when we repair her. So, what does that mean? Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. You know, I wonder who she is. I wonder if she knows what that cargo was. Or what happened to the ship. Anyway, I gotta use the can. Restoration complete. Want some pie? She's awake! Welcome aboard! This fine ship is the Nessus, and I'm Bruce. And I'm Max. Uh, let's see how you thought out. Well, she seems healthy. Your vitals check out. Do you, do you speak English? Do you know your name? What? Oh yeah, the manual said something about this. You should get your voice back any time. You were, uh, dead, after all. I'll just take that. Where's my pie? You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
teach you a song about paper towels. Then we get down to business. Tacos. What? Tacos are good. Are you hungry? Are, are you? No, I just ate. Great! She's talking! What's your name, darling? Don't know. Can't remember. Well, what do you want to be called? Called? Taco? Yeah, let's call her Taco. Or how about Jane, as in Jane Doe? Jane Doe! Yeah, call me Jane Doe! <laughs> I like taco better. I don't get it. She checks out okay, except for some minor memory loss. Well, what's wrong with her then? I don't know, maybe she was always like this. There's no way for us to know. Bruce is my hero. Yes, he is. Well, she likes you, that's good. And it's not like you're the picture-perfect model of sanity, either. Paper towel song! Paper towel song! Paper towel song! At least she's not boring. Where are you, rubber ducky? Oh, there you are. Hole breach in the rear Shit. access way. Max, can you get that? Great, thanks. Nessie, what do I do? Take the can of stop leak and the tape and plug the hole. All right. Where's the leak? On the upper wall. We're gonna die! Uh, shake can. Shake can. Put in hole. Cover with tape. Ah. Uh, uh. Hull repressurizing. Oh. We're not gonna die. Spoof splash fun time. So when we get to the station, are you gonna file a report about that freighter? What's your plan? Ain't got no plan. In the moment, remember? Well, I'll continue to research the logs. Maybe there'll be some useful information in there. When we get to the station, I'll ask around, see if anybody knows anything about a missing freighter. I think we should keep our mouths shut until we learn more. If a ship that large goes missing and it doesn't make the news, they were probably up to something illegal. Okay. So, who do you suppose Jane Doe really is? Don't know. She sure is odd. Why would anybody bring somebody like that on a deep space mission? Maybe she's a savant. Or maybe she's got secret government information locked up in her head that's released if you say a certain code word. Undoubtedly. So are you two hitting it off? Not really. I don't think I'm into her. What do you mean? She's crazy. Shut up. Can you be choosy? It's not like there's a ton of women out here. I only need one. <sighs> You're thinking of somebody, aren't you? Katie. So who's Katie? She works at the Titan station. We really hit it off. Then I had to go on a cargo run. The last time I saw her, she's dating a methane miner. That guy smelled awful. 
What about you? I plan to hook up when we get to the station. I've heard it's full of single hotties. <laughs> single hotties? There's no single hotties. It's full of sweaty miners. There's hardly any single girls there except the miners' teenage daughters. Crap. And I don't recommend the miners' daughters. There are all sorts of problems that come with that. Believe me. Why do you think I practice karate? The ad for the Titan station said there were tons of hot single women. It gets the miners there. It's better than saying, come to the Titan station for all the sweaty guys. That would attract an entirely different group of people. So the station has a lot of angry single miners. Once again, karate is a useful skill. Oh, what's this? She found the scissors. I thought I told you to hide all the sharp objects. I did. I wonder what she looks like. We may have to space her. What? What? I'm making a cube. Me too. Uh-huh. Breaking thrusters engaged. Oh, your guy fell down. Don't touch him! Sorry. Oh no. Error in fuel calculation. I have a little bit of bad news. The escape burn from the freighter used up most of our braking fuel. And we won't have enough to go into orbit. Oh shit! We're all gonna die? No, no. We're most likely not going to die. I have a plan. We'll dive into Saturn's atmosphere and use it as a brake to slow us down. Then we'll pop into orbit around Titan. Or we'll burn up. We're gonna die horribly. I get the last piece of pie. I really wish she'd stop talking about dying. Is this as serious as it sounds? We've got nothing to worry about. People do this all the time. And survive? And I, I know of one. Don't worry. I'm almost positive we'll make it. You should learn to do like Jane Doe and live in the moment. I get yesterday's Milo! Hey. Adjusting for atmospheric entry. Gonna die. <laughs> Port fusion plant failure. Starboard engine struts starting to buckle. How can you drink at a time like this? This is the perfect time to drink. Water storage tank A ruptured. think we were going to make it. What? Well, it looks like we're coming up on Titan Station. Oh, there it is. Titan Station, Vessel Nessus on approach, pattern Delta-7. Uh-oh. What? We didn't slow down enough to dock. Oh, no. What are we going to do, smash into the station? 
That's a good idea. What? You see that antenna array? Uh-huh. I think that will slow us down just enough. Vessel Nessus, you're coming in too fast. Fire your braking thrusters. Hi, Daddy. Here's your lunch. Hi, Jenny. Thanks. Mmm, smells delicious. Well, hold on. Here goes. Doesn't look very happy. Vessel Nessus, please bring your license and proof of insurance upon disembarking. <laughs> Whoops. Cut it out. Welcome to Titan Station. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Oh, wait a minute. That's from Star Wars, from that movie, right? What? Anyway, Jane Dosher took off fast. Uh, do you think we should go look for her? Uh, she knows where we parked. You haven't called me in six months! Radio's broken, baby. I was gonna call you as soon as I found a phone. That sounds like an excuse! Blah, 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 blah! Blah, 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 oh, I never want to see you again. Well, I'm back now. Do you want to go out tonight? Oh. You don't listen, do you? No, not really. I got to go see a guy about a thing. Meet you at Titan Cafe in a half an hour? Okay. Hey, there you are. I'm glad you found the place. They have really good food here. Great, because I'm starving. You know, I think I'll have the big breakfast. I haven't had bacon in so long. <laughs> you have no idea. Hi, Bruce. Hey! Oh, it's great to see you. You too. It feels like it's been so long. Are you in town for a while? Yeah, I'm here about a month. I have some ship repairs to make. We should get together before you leave. Yeah, I'd love to. So, do you want the usual? Yeah, that sounds good, Katie. And what would you like? How about the big breakfast and some orange juice, please? All right, that'll be right out. So good to see you. Hey, that's that girl you told me about. You should go for it. The time has never been right between us. Either she's got a boyfriend, or I've got a girlfriend, or I'm a million miles away. It sounds like you're thinking of the past and not the present. You're here, she's here, you should do something. <laughs> who's, who's the guru here? Okay, don't worry about it, I got a plan. I'm working up to it. What's that? This is Eric. What's Eric? Eric's my new trilateral mineral analyzer. I want to see what kind of cargo that freighter was hauling. Hey, can you plug this in? Sure. Okay. Thanks. Oops, I forgot to take those menus. Eric will have the results in a few minutes. Ah! 
Having her on the station ad brought in tons of business. Thank you, darling. I thought you'd like her. It looks like some kind of carbon. Nothing like a real breakfast. Yep, 100% refined hog fat. <laughs> hog fat? Yeah, it turns out that the hog fat can be made into almost anything. Pretty cool, huh? It tastes just like the real thing. But it isn't. You need to focus on what's in front of you. On the here and now. So eat up. Analysis complete. 98% carbonado. Carbonado? That cargo was amorphous diamonds. That's worth a fortune. And there was a ton of it on that ship too. And it was blown up. We don't even know where they found it. Uh. Actually, I think I do know. When I was looking at the ship's log, they kept mentioning an asteroid named 5145 Pholus. I looked it up and it orbits a little ways past Neptune. Yahoo! We're gonna be rich. All we have to do is go out and get it. But it took you six months to go from Earth to the Titan station. Won't it take years to go that far? Not if I soup up the engines. We sell this rock, we combine it with the hog fat money, and I can do that. You're coming with me, right? I don't know. That's a long time to be cooped up in that small ship. But I need your help. This is a complicated mission. You can't bail on me now when things are going so well. Besides, we're becoming friends, right? Well, well, yes. But I don't like that life-threatening terror stuff. And this trip sounds even more dangerous than before. Ah, come on! If we fix up the ship, we stock up on supplies, we could get by some cases of beer, it'll be great! Well, I can't let you get rich by yourself. And I am unemployed. I'm in. Alrighty then! Do you think Jane Doe will want to go? Hard to say. I'm surprised we couldn't find out anything about her or that ship on the net. Isn't that strange? Maybe you typed something in wrong. I don't know. But we need crew. And what's the worst that can happen? I have a couple of requests. Let's fix that long range receiver and that meteor shield. Good idea. Any idea how long it'll take? It'll take at least six months to get out there. But I've done worse. She'll make them castle run in less than 12 parsecs. What? What? Never mind. We'll eat up. We got a lot of work to do. We need to sell this as soon as we can. What the hell? Hold this. Hey, what are you doing here? First mate Katie reporting for duty. Hey, baby. Hey. I hired her as crew so we wouldn't have to spend so much time apart. Well, great. Welcome aboard. There's going to be a lot of work to do once we get out there. The mining unit's automated. Down, RJ-7, down. We still need a lot of help. You want to die like the rest of us? No, no. I'm totally sure that we'll be mostly safe. Mostly? Mostly. Mostly. Okay, let me show you the ship. We'll start with the pool. We have a pool? Yeah, it's great. Come on. We're all gonna die. Well, let's get this show on the road. Airlock. Sealed and retracted. Shore power and fuel line. Disconnected. Fuel tanks. Topped off and pressurized. 
fusion reactors. Um, fusioning? <laughs> Docking clamps? Retracted. Excellent. Titan Station, Vessel Nessus, ready for departure. Nessus, you're clear for departure. Roger, Titan Station. And try not to destroy the station when you return. <laughs> no promises. The vessel Nessus is clear of Titan Station. Proceed on present course to avoid incoming traffic. Hey, Bruce, honey. How's the hog fat biz? Can't believe you're still using that piece of crap shit. What does that do? Sewage dump in process. No! Press the abort button! Sorry guys, uh, minor technical malfunction over here. What the hell are you doing, you bastard? Technical malfunction, my ass! I'm contacting the port authorities! How long have you been with Katie? We go way back. Do you like cocoa beans? I love cocoa beans. Beans. Who barfed in the mostly meat? I did, like two months ago. Oh, I guess I'll just have to eat around it. Bruce, wait, I bought new boxes. Ew. Ew. Oh, yeah.